by the way, I am your new teacher today and you can call me Teacher Sherry. I am so happy and blessed to be with you and welcome to another online children's message. So are you ready to listen? Itingnan nga natin. Pag sinabi ko, ready na, ready na, ang sasabihin nyo, aha, aha. And when I say, aha, aha, you will say, ready na, ready na. Get it, kids? Okay. Ready na, ready na? Aha, aha? Okay, good job, kids. Kids, I have a question for you. Ano sa tingin nyo yung pinaka-expensive na bagay na alam nyo or na mayroon kayo? Yes, it may be clothes, cars, toys, or even jewelries. Those things might cost a lot. So here's another question. If someone handed you a whole bunch of money, wow, a whole bunch of money, ano gusto niyong bilhin? Oh, that thing sounds great. Gusto ko yung nasa isip niya, kids. Well, we see lots of people these days earning and spending money sa mga bagay-bagay. Sometimes, it seems like People pay a lot for things that shouldn't cost all that much. For example, perfume. So I have here a little bottle of perfume and I'm wearing it now. And this bottle cost more than I would have liked for a few ounces of scented liquid. But you know kids, when I was looking at some other types of perfume, nakita ko maraming tao ang willing to pay a lot for perfume. So, in our gospel story today, there is a woman who brought some perfume to someone whom she thinks worthy of it. To know more about our lesson, let's watch this video. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to Bethany. Jesus had friends who lived there, Lazarus and his two sisters, Mary and Martha. They were all very excited to see Jesus. They prepared a dinner in Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus ate with Jesus. Then Mary took a jar of really, really, really expensive perfume and poured it over Jesus' feet. When she was finished, she wiped Jesus' feet with her hair. Mary did this to show how grateful she was to God for sending Jesus to them. The perfume smelled so wonderful, the whole house was filled with its fragrance. But Judas, the disciple who would soon betray Jesus, was not happy. That perfume was so valuable. It cost a whole year's worth of pay. We should have sold it and given the money to the poor. Judas didn't really care about the poor at all. He was a thief, and since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. Selling the perfume would mean more money for him. Judas was selfish and ungrateful, but Jesus defended Mary. Leave her alone. She is doing this because she understands what is about to happen to me. She is showing me great honor while she can, while I'm here. She won't always be able to do this. Mary was grateful, and that helped her do a great thing for Jesus. How was it, kids? So in, it was really, really a special perfume used to prepare people for being buried. At galing ito sa spinard plant. So this woman poured on Jesus' feet and wipe out with her hair. She was willing to give costly perfume for the one she knew was the Messiah. But, syempre may kontrabida. Judas criticized 
hinutya niya yung ginawa ni Mary. For wasting such an expensive item. Pero ipinagtanggol siya ni Jesus. And reminded everyone that he is worth more than a money. So what can we learn about our story today? Does this mean we should go around spending money? Or we should pour perfume on our parents' feet? Of course not. So what it means is that nothing, nothing is worth more than Jesus. So all of the fancy things and all of the money we have at the end of the day is nothing compared to Him. Well, the only thing worth living for and pursuing is none other than Christ. How do we do that? Ano ang kailangan natin gawin, kids? Let us always read the Bible and pray. And when it comes to making decisions or doing things, we can ask ourselves if we are doing something that honor or points back to Him. We can ask God's help, making Him our top priority. We need also to be willing to give everything we have for Him because He gave everything for us. And that's worth celebrating, right? To celebrate the goodness of God. Tara kids, sayo muna tayo. ating memory verse na matatagpuan natin sa Philippians chapter 3 verse 8 What is more I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord for whose sake I have lost all things consider them garbage that I may gain Christ Let us pray kids 
Heavenly Father, you are worth more than all riches. Help us to always remember that. And to always put you as our top priority in our lives. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for your son Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. So, bye kids! See you next week!